I'm here in my workshop to walk you through building your own raised bed. Now you can build your raised bed out of any material you choose. Recycled lumber, stone, brick, concrete. I'm using two by 10 by eight foot lumber that I purchased at the lumber yard and I got them to cut it straight down the middle for me. So I got two pieces of two by 10 by eights and I got them to cut it down the middle. So that gave me four pieces. Now, I'm going to pre-drill the holes here so that it makes it a lot easier for me to assemble and prevents breakage. Before I do that, I just wanna let you in on a little secret that I had no idea about when I first got into construction and landscaping and owning my own home. A two by 10 by eight really isn't two inches by 10 inches by eight feet. If you measure it, the thickness, it's really only one and a half. And if you measure the height, it's not 10 inches, it's nine and a quarter inches. Now, before I assemble my raised bed, I want to pre-drill holes in it. The reason why I want to pre-drill the holes is because it'll prevent breakage in the wood and it'll make it very, very easy to assemble. So I'm going to continue pre-drilling my pieces of wood and then we're going to get ready and assemble our raised bed. All right, now we're going to assemble our raised bed. And we're just butting them up to each other as you can see here. And I'm going to be using exterior deck screws. Now while I'm putting these in, I want to make sure that I'm doing it pretty slowly. Nice! Now I'm going to finish assembling the rest of my raised bed. You definitely want to make sure that you use screws that are exterior screws and are for wood. Ah! I'm done! This has been so gratifying that I can actually build this with my own two hands. So if I can do it, you can too. Now, if you just want it to be this tall, your raised bed, you're done. You can basically take this outside and put it out wherever you want to put it. I want to build an even higher raised bed. So I'm going to build another box exactly like this. Now I'm ready to start putting together my 4x4 raised beds. I'm going to house small livestock like rabbits or chickens in these. So what I want to do before I place them is put this wire on the bottom of the 4x4. There are a couple of things I want you to keep in mind before you begin. Firstly, use untreated wood. Don't use pressure treated wood, which has chemicals in it that we don't want in our vegetables or in our bodies. Secondly, use recycled materials whenever possible. The two by three lumber that I've cut serves as a dual purpose. It connects the top and bottom of the raised bed together and also provides support for my small livestock cages. 